was the last time we hit three three home runs in a game? Nate. When's the last time we hit three home runs in a Correct. game? Correct. I don't know off the top of my head. Man, that is you're better than that. Garber. When was the last time we scored seven runs in a game? So it's right, right before the break. Okay, good. Because, I mean, you're looking at this going, okay, we know we're going to have to put up some numbers now uh, when we got behind. Um, I mean, obviously a huge hit from Park. Massive home run. Nice to have Bargy back to supply some power. And, uh, and Nico with a big hit, obviously, to tie the thing. So, um, real nice comeback. Uh, Justin wasn't as sharp. Hales wasn't as sharp as he's been. But that happens. But he was fine. And uh, and, and Mello wasn't as sharp as, as we've seen him either. So, to overcome that and get Rosinski and, and, uh, and Boost to nail it down for us was good. So that's, you know, it's not the way you draw it up. We'll take it, and uh, it's always nice to sweep a club. You're thrilled with a three-game sweep, let alone four. So um, get Dylan on the mound tomorrow and give us a good start. We'll see. We'll see what Toledo has to offer. Bianco has obviously been been hot lately. What do you think has gone into him being? Oh, he work. He works so hard, and he's look. He's got ability. He didn't wind up over here because he had no ability. Uh, it's been tough for him at times. He, you know, he hasn't been able to put it together consistently. Um, but, you know, I mean, he, he's such a hard worker, and he's such a good teammate, and keeps coming at it. And, you know, you, he's the guy that you you believe is going to figure it out eventually. He's going to do. He's going to give himself every chance, okay, to get himself back to Minnesota. Um, and it's just it's good to see anybody play well. But uh, with some of the ups and downs that he's been. It's really good to see that. So, um, anyway, it's you know, it's a good group. They pick each other up. Uh, you know, if somebody doesn't get a job done, we come back behind them. You know, we get pitching. Bullpen guys are picking people up. So, if you're going to put something together in the second half, and if you're going to be good down the stretch, that's the kind of stuff that needs to happen. Um, and right now, that's what we got going. And you and you talk about obviously the comeback and a lot a lot of pieces go into that. And there was the one play where. You catch the catch the guy after he gets a single on that man for space. Absolutely. How important was that play, especially since there was. The well, and you never you know. You always it was huge, but but, but you know, you, and, and so whatever happens after that play, you go well. That would have, but you know, you just it's so funny to me because you never know if, if we don't do that, does, is there a base hit next and so on and so forth. But look, outs are crucial when you're trying to come back, and and uh, I, I believe in thirty. However long I've been doing this, it's a long time, 35 years, whatever. I don't ever remember an out being recorded when I was on my way to the mound. <laughs> so, you know, you, you say it all the time. You'll see something different every day. You'll see something you haven't seen. But I'm, to, I'm here to tell you it's true. And, uh, and it comes in all sorts of, of shapes and sizes and places. And I mean, I was disappointed that, that, uh, that Melo didn't get the guy. And, I mean, headed out of the dugout immediately, looked up and went, oh, my gosh, I, you know, I, Thank God I wasn't in the middle of a play. But part of playing good defense, which I think we've done an excellent job of, is, is taking advantage of situations and being aware. Uh, and Tommy and Benji, those guys in the infield are, are always heads up and paying attention. It's the only way you make that play. It's if you see somebody else like, you know, we had Nico go first to third, or go to third last night in a situation where he thought that they were Cadillac a little bit defensively. He took a shot and worked out good. So you like, you like guys that are looking for the the edge when they can get it. Um, have you ever seen that uh, 313 play from Monday that uh, with uh, Haig? Uh, it sits, you know, the ball came to him, not went off him back to the pitcher who threw back to him for, for the out on oh, Monday? no. I, I, well, I, you know what's funny? <laughs> the annals of, of Mike Quaddy, I, I don't recall ever seeing that. Um, we had a play. That's another thing. We had a, where was it, Nate? We had a play... Uh, an eight, was it eight six? Double play on a ball hit off the center field wall. Or not a double play. Yeah, no, no. force out. Force out at yeah. second base. Yeah, a fielder's choice. A fielder's choice on a ball off. That was here, right? Eight four six. Yeah, eight four six. So it's just that's what I say. You know, you, you see stuff you know all the time, but but if you keep the ball in front of you and if you pay attention, you give yourself a chance. And in those situations, we did. We've had our downtime too, but for the most part. We've been pretty good defensively. Good.